Welcome back everybody to Ion Sun Valley's Talk of the Town. I'm Vernon Scott, and today my special guest is legendary multimedia artist Frank. Welcome. Well, it's Welcome great to, to be the here. extravaganza. Thank you. Thank How you. would you, in a nutshell, describe yourself, your work, your, your legendary uh, status as an artist? Who are you? I'm Frank with a PH and a hard C. Your basic, average, all American, Jewish, lesbian, folk singing, cardboard cobbler. Convenient for a business <laughs> card. Uh, Frank has a gallery opening tomorrow, Thursday the 29th, at Friesen Gallery, and the exhibit is called Toys. And I was lucky enough to see it last night. I got in early to take a look. And can I just say, with all sincerity, it's magnificent. Thank you. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's talk about toys. I love them. You love them. Everybody loves their toys. Everybody loves toys. And the thing that struck me about it when I walked in, just from the moment you, you walk in, is that it fills you with incredible joy. Well, I'm so glad because that's my intention. And my intention for people seeing the work is to take them back in time for them to have an emotional response and hopefully make them smile. And it does. Uh, you walk in and it's like walking into a time machine, but it's not because it's a very modern artistic spin on classic toys and characters that we grew up with. There's some of my favorite toys, toys that my father loved, toys that my brother had, um, toys that surrounded me. And all of my work is made out of paper and cardboard. And so they're recreations of actual toys, but they are all made out of paper. And they come alive in a very kind of modern, unique way. I mean, they're obviously, they're, they're steeped in history and steeped in nostalgia. And yet, from my experience, they live in a kind of very present way because of the medium, which is fascinating. And most people, I think, probably wouldn't think of cardboard and paper and gouache as having as much life as these things do. But they're magnificent. The Davy Crockett costume, the Annie Oakley costume, the hobby horses, there's a Popeye guitar, there's a Sun Valley ski. Tell, tell us about that one. The Sun Valley ski jumper uh, came out in the 40s. He was a little guy made out of wood on wheels. And he skied down a tin lithographed ramp. And when he caught the hook at the end, it flipped him into the air and he spun. Now my Sun Valley uh, ski jumper doesn't so much jump, but he sure does ski. He skis right down the ramp. It's just beautiful. And can you, can you tell me what was the inspiration for this particular exhibit? And, and, and how did you realize that with the, with the materials that you work in, that they would lend themselves so beautifully to this kind of thing? Because toys are so tactile. I make things that I love. And my medium has always been paper and cardboard. I worked with cardboard many, many years ago when I couldn't afford any kind of other medium. Right. Cardboard is always available. I like to say it's the equal opportunity medium. <laughs> it's for everyone. You can always find a piece of cardboard. And let's, let's talk for a minute about, you mentioned the, the winter show you had done and uh, Sun Valley and ski tags and all that. You have a long history with coming to the valley, am I right? Yes, it's very special for me to be here. Uh, my parents dated up here. My mom came up in college and my father followed her on the train and surprised her. That's kind of where it all started. And then when I was a kid, my folks brought me up here and I went to ski school up here. I learned to ski up here. And then I probably haven't been back till I was 16. And then about 12 years ago, we started coming back, my family and my partner. And uh, we love Sun Valley. So you're part of the valley, which is which yeah. is beautiful. And it's wonderful to have uh, be involved with the Friesen Gallery here and uh, meet people and artists that are locals. It's wonderful. Now let me ask you about one more thing. You've got um, something going on at LACMA, which is the LA County uh, Museum, Museum of, of Art. Art. Yes, I'm a teaching artist there, and that's wonderful because when I was about nine years old, I took a, a class at LACMA, and what happened was uh, there was an installation of a show. This was in the '60s. And the show was uh, modern art. And since we were in the class, they took us up before the exhibits opened. Mm -hmm. So I walked into this exhibit, and there were these giant Claus Oldenburg billiard balls. And I had never seen anything like that in right. my life. 
And all of a sudden, I realized that art could be more than a painting. It could yeah. be anything. And it totally changed my life. Well, I, I, know, I would imagine richly satisfying in terms of getting a hold of, of young people before their, their, their perceptions of art is boxed into a certain reality and allowing them to explore from, kind of the, from their id and from their imagination before parameters are put well, on yeah. what art is. It's terrific, and their education program there is wonderful, so I'm thrilled to be involved with that. So. Well, fantastic. That's Congratulations. Terrific. Uh, I just want to uh, mention again that Frank's uh, exhibit opens at the Friesen Gallery tomorrow, tomorrow night, night <laughs> at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock at the Friesen Gallery, the 29th. And the exhibit is called Toys. I cannot recommend strongly enough that you go and take a look and bring your kids. Well, come to the show, and at the show there will be a book, and it says, What's the toy I wish I still had? And I want you to sign in and put down your favorite toy because that's part of the fun of it all, is bringing up all the memories of the favorite toys that Ab we've all had. Absolutely, and I think you'll be surprised at what a deeply emotional experience the art is. Uh, it gets you right in the heart, and, 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 and it's so rare when you go to a gallery, you go to an exhibit, and the first thing you feel is joy, is just complete happiness and comfort. And that's what I felt when I went and looked at your work. Congratulations, Fantastic. it's a magnificent exhibit. Thank you. And I want to thank Frank for being here on Talk of the Town. I'm Vernon Scott. We'll see you next time on Eye on Sun Valley. Eye on Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.